Well, hey everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I got some fantastic news. Uh, finally, finally, we have our car back. It took us forever and a day. Uh, I don't know if you guys know the exact timeline, but uh, I was in an accident uh, with my car on uh, March the 6th. And due to supply chain issues and delays in getting parts and all that other stuff, I just got my car back yesterday, uh, which was uh, August the 12th. So you do the math on that one. And since we're talking about math, we're going to talk about how I'm bad at math. And uh, Patty, I apologize. I really tried to do seven. I really, really tried. But you know how I am with open tags. I have a hard time with counting and I have a hard time following the rules. And what you did say, it was clear as mud. And uh, well, enough excuses. Let's just talk about knives. That's a lot more fun. Hey guys, we're gonna talk about, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. I'm excited. I love open tags and it's been a while since I've done it. I love my Rough Rider knives and, and this is just a portion of them and they are absolutely fantastic. Uh, when I first started, to get back into traditional knives. I was, uh, you know, familiar with some, you know, I mean, stockmen's trappers, uh, you know, the, the big ones. But when I discovered Rough Rider, I discovered all of these traditional patterns that were out in the world. And I was just a, you know, basically a traditional uh, newbie that had to kind of search my way around. And Rough Rider is fantastic for that because you can try all of these fantastic patterns and end up liking one or several or, you know, whatever, but you get to try them all out and they're not really expensive. And then if you want to go high end in the hobby, uh, you will find that there are high end custom makers that are making slip joints today that, uh, you know, basically the sky is the limit uh, as far as that goes. But enough about that. Let's talk about what's on the table. We're talking Rough Rider knives and uh, immediately I found that I had a problem because even if I had to just do seven knives, I had to include a plus one because this is a Rough Rider knife. <laughs> and uh, as it says right there, it's a Rough Rider. This is the uh, little fixed blade with the uh, resin handle, which uh, I kind of adopted as a as a uh, channel knife because it kind of matched my little board that I use as a as a background on my channel. And although they'll probably never admit it, I would like to think that possibly, maybe, I inspired them uh, when they were watching my videos. I hope you guys are watching my videos. <laughs> Smoky Mountain, I'm here. I'm here. I love you guys. <laughs> Anyways, let's go through these knives because they are just, uh, they're the reason we're here. And and believe me, this was tougher than it, than I thought because I, I did leave out quite a bit of knives because I did try to show a variety. I tried to show different patterns. I tried to show some different ones of, uh, you know, that uh, maybe not everybody else is going to grab. At least I hope not. But uh, let's start with this guy at the bottom. This is a, a modern Rough Rider. This is their two-tone liner lock. And it has this, uh, like a rock pattern. It's silver on this side and black on this side. It has a really large uh, spoonbill clip, which uh, some people may like, some people are not. It's, it's comfortable, I'll, I'll give it that. It's not a deep carry clip. You know, you do end up having uh, this point come out. But uh, this does look like a... Uh, uh, ZT knife, you know, when you get it out there. I mean, this is a very, very nice knife. Uh, the detent is just fine. It has a really nice smooth action on it. I mean, you really can't go wrong. And for less than $20, uh, as far as most of your modern knives go, I think uh, this guy hits it right out of the park. Uh, really nice pointy blade. And like I said, the uh, the action is really good, very smooth. It's running on ball bearings. You can't go wrong with this liner lock. Uh, and most of these knives you've seen before. I've done full reviews on them. But now we'll go 
I did grab a queen knife. This is a queen trapper, and this is in that beautiful winter bottom bone. And uh, I kind of went over the history of winter bottom bone, uh, that that was the last name of the family that did this uh, kind of a pattern. And uh, queen knives used winter bottom bone the most of all the manufacturers. It was just, a, it was just known as a queen thing, you know, that if you wanted one in winter bottom, you could probably get one. Really super nice, uh, you know, thin clip point, uh, not really super thick stock. And they make these in synthetic handles and stuff. The uh, match strikes are, are, you know, the pulls are on one on each side. You know, so here is their spay blade. Uh, really, really long, long spay. But you can get a full four finger grip on it. And look, I'm not even choked up on the on the bolster. If you really wanted to get up on the Ricasso, uh, you know, it's actually hanging out the bottom. But what a really beautiful and pretty knife uh, this is. Just really elegant, really comfortable. Uh, I really like this. I think they're definitely worth getting it. This is one of my all-time favorites. This is one, this is my very first Copperhead, and it was my very first Rough Rider. Was uh, this one and uh, that one there? We'll get to him in a second. This is in the Red Pick Bone uh, series, and I still love the uh, snap on this one. And it's got a really nice pull. You have your regular clip here and a, a Turkish clip in the front that has the uh, reverse etch red pick bone. And uh, like I said, this made me fall in love with the copperhead pattern. I had not tried a copperhead pattern before. And this is the beauty of uh, Rough Rider, being able to find a pattern that's not very, uh, you know, I, I want to say it's just, it wasn't, it's not a pattern that you're going to find every day. You can find more of them today than I think you could back in the day, you know, so like you couldn't go down to the hardware store and just see a copperhead. Uh, so this is uh, one of those patterns that for me, I was able to find it, discover it, really enjoy it. And it's one of my favorite patterns. It was a bonus for me that Case came out making that their vault knife, like the year after I discovered the copperhead and I was just through the roof going, oh my gosh, you know, copperheads are, are the deal. This uh, Rough Rider Reserve uh, Barlow, uh, Patty showed this too, and I agree with them. This is probably the best of the Rough Rider Reserve knives. It, it's absolutely fantastic. That nice fat spear at the end, D2 steel. Uh, this, you know, tan micarta, absolutely gorgeous. You know, absolutely no faults at all on this knife. I, I just love this one. It's definitely one of my favorites we'll close this guy up and then we'll go to the uh, sunfish this is the blue mule uh, g10 series which for rough riders the blue mule series i think it has 10 or 12 patterns in it uh they're all this blue g10 these are all less expensive than your regular rough riders uh no markings on it all no shield no R on the uh, bolster, but what you get is just a super, super work knife. And this has probably the strongest pull of any of the uh, Rough Riders that I have. And, you know, just an awesome thing. And this is the type of thing where if you want to try a sunfish, you've never tried one, you were like me, you want to see what they're all about, you can get one of these and you can find out that really using this uh, little pen blade is kind of uncomfortable because you're wrapping your fingers around the uh, main blade. So this one definitely doesn't get used uh, very much at all. But I really do enjoy and like uh, the sunfish pattern. It's a really cool uh, thing and one that I definitely will be looking for more in the future. This was the other knife that I ordered uh, when I ordered this copperhead and this is the uh, canoe that's in the uh, titanium series and I liked it because I, I loved the the bone which used to be black and it's grayed out to this really 
beautiful color. I, I really love how it's aged itself. It just is absolutely gorgeous. But then I liked that it had the uh, coated blades and that was just a really cool thing. And they have a couple of series with the, the black coated blades. And I think that these are just absolutely, you know, fantastic. They're beautiful. Uh, I can't say enough about them. This still, uh, these two guys here, my very first two Rough Riders, how could I leave them out of uh, Magnificent 7-ish uh, type uh, <laughs> open tag? <laughs> of course, we had to throw in the uh, Rough Rider work knife. This is the uh, denim one, uh, wonderful Warncliffe blade. Uh, I think this, or maybe it was their original work knife. Uh, somebody told me that that was like the best selling Rough Rider knife that they ever had. And uh, I believe it because if you guys don't have one, and I think most people do, but get one if you don't have one. I don't have the original one. I just have this, uh, the denim one. But I liked it so much that I think I, I ended up carrying it almost an entire week. Uh, nothing else, you know, went into my pocket. I mean, it's just such a good knife. Just such a good knife. You can use it for just about anything. But, you know, I just loved how, you know, the sway back, uh, how that fits into your hand when it's open, how ergonomic uh, that is. And it's just, you know, a great knife. So... We've seen that I have, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven that were in the tag. One bonus, cause it's static on my channel, but there had to be a couple more. And I'm gonna even cheat it up a little more because we got uh, one extra here and it's got uh, Patty's favorite shield on there. The old, uh, the old bull himself. But uh, look at this beautiful, tobacco colored bone. I had to show this one. This is an older Rough Rider. I actually, uh, this is a lockback. This is one that came to me through uh, Mark Kaufman. So it has quite the uh, pedigree to it already. Uh, older Rough Rider has the uh, horseshoe uh, symbol there for your uh, tank stamp. Fits in the hand really fine. Just a really beautiful, beautiful lockback. And I was just so happy that he uh, he actually sent this on to me with uh, something else that I had sent him. And he sent this back. Uh, and I, I can't thank him enough. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. But he does stuff like that. He's he's just an awesome friend. And uh, But the color on that bone is just, just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And that was too good to not show off. You know, and that's the thing about Rough Rider too, is that they do a great job on a lot of their, uh, the bone, the colors, uh, you know, the materials that they use. Yeah, they're a, you know, a budget brand, but they're not a, uh, a junk brand. A lot of people will say that, you know, you'll read the keyboard warriors on time. They'll online, they'll, they'll talk about, you know, well, you know, that's not good. You know, I don't want to use this or whatever. But, you know, are they actually buying these? Are they using them? Are they inspecting them? I don't know. You know, but uh, don't judge a book by its cover, as they say. Uh, the last one is actually uh, two because they're each one a, a 0.5. And so one is the little cub lockback because I just love these guys. They got the little choil. They're lockback. I mean, it's a little knife, but this is a very capable knife. And uh, just, you know, for your everyday carry, it's perfect. This is the copper swirl one. Uh, and I really like the copper swirl uh, colors and the way they did that. It's just really uh, very pretty to me. Copper uh, bolster. Uh, but yeah, just, just a good all around little work knife. If you just need something that's small and unobtrusive, lightweight, but is a very capable knife, there's that one. And then the last point five, how can you have a Rough Rider thing without the tadpole? The old angry watermelon itself, the grumpy gherkin, the war pickle. How can you not have this guy in there? They're just fun. They're just, you know, an awesome little knife. They're, they're always fun because I'll carry it 
in my pocket and someone will say, hey, do you have a knife? You know, and of course you pull out this and you go, here you go. And they're like, what? What is that? I can't use that. It's too little. Really? I don't know. You can use it for a lot of stuff. It's a cool knife. It's fun. It always starts a conversation, if nothing else. Anyways, uh, Patty, there you go. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do just seven. I think uh, this, this gets me up to, uh, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you add up the 2.5, there's an even 10. How about that? How about 10 uh, Rough Rider knives that you can uh, enjoy? And if you guys, you know, enjoy my the re the way I, you know, not only butcher the English language, but uh, how I uh, tend to uh, mess up on easy tasks like counting or following the rules and open tags, let me know down in the comments. Thank you, Patty, for an awesome tag. I'm gonna go watch all the other people's uh, tag videos. Uh, this was great, you know, for a working Saturday to come home, see an open tag and say, oh yeah, I'm jumping in on this one. This is this is one of the fun ones. I, I love stuff like this. And if you really like to see how I do my open tags, I do have an open tag playlist as well. So that's it for this one. I will see you all in the next one. Thanks again, Patty. You guys all take care and have a great weekend.